Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kemp Oak Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking us out. My name is Shane. I think today we're going to get out here and not really do a lot of work. We're going to get out here and try to have some fun today. The rain has finally stopped for a minute. They know what's up. We're headed over here to Chicken Pen. Well, let's see. The rain has stopped. <laughs> the rain has stopped, thank goodness. And uh, it's nice and, and it's cool weather. Come on. Kick, 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 kick. We're going to have some fun today. I'm going to go over here and get some equipment uh, from over here at the Chicken Pen. But first, I guess I got to feed these ladies. <laughs> Give these girls <laughs> something to eat. I can't come over here without doing it. y'all the girls nobody want to see me <laughs> I'm coming off of me all right guys we come over here today to pick up some equipment and when I say equipment I mean traps today we're gonna to do a little uh, trapping video everybody's been doing trapping videos I noticed here on YouTube uh, well, at least all the channels I watch have been doing a lot of trapping videos. Uh, we've been trapping since I got a piece of corn in my foot. Okay, I had to get a piece of corn out of my foot, out of my boot. But we've been trapping uh, since the beginning of fall. We do it as a kind of a a little safety measure for our birds because we free range all our birds. I know a lot of people have been trapping uh, for conservation reasons to help the turkeys and the ducks and the geese and all the little, all and quail and stuff, the little ground uh, nesting birds. For the fact that possums and raccoons, that's basically what we trap. Possums and raccoons can devastate uh, the turkeys and just any, any little ground nesting birds. They can just devastate the population if you don't try to keep them under control. And us raising all these chickens and the way we raise them, like I say, we free range. We have 18 acres, and they run over the whole property. I mean, the whole property, they're, they're just everywhere. And so we try to keep a population beat back best we can um, by, by trapping. It's just the most efficient way to keep these... Uh, <laughs> these little rodents i i don't care for them but it's the best way to keep these guys beat back i know a lot of people think raccoons and possums are cute and i do too i don't have a hatred for them but i can't have them getting in my chicken coop all right normally we trap uh here's the chicken pen this is our chicken pen i know i just got a ton of new subscribers uh what's today wednesday man i got a ton of new subscribers here lately we'll talk about that later but thank you guys for <laughs> for subscribing to my channel. Pretty shocking. But uh, I got a ton of new subscribers. And for you guys that are new to my channel, we raise a lot of chickens. We have uh, three pens uh, full of quail that we have. We got these two. I lost this one. But these two, and I have another one up there. You may be able to see it with blue tarp. Uh, but we're really big into the birds. We're just bird fanatics. We love to eat the birds. We love to uh, eat the eggs, of course. Now, all our free-range birds, i give you a little rundown. Our free-range birds, the ones that are out now, these guys, we raise them from chick till whenever uh, life is over for them. We just let them do whatever they want. We, they go up at the self every night, and we let them out every morning, feed them, and they just take over the whole property, do whatever they want to do. Uh, they do lay eggs in the pen, so we get just tons and tons of eggs. Um, look at these two. <laughs> we are finally seeing signs of male i know i stopped talking but we're finally seeing signs of male acting like a gobbler turkey a male he's the only male bird we have on the property right now we don't have any roosters but he's a broad-breasted white we tried to raise we just cannot raise turkeys we tried to raise them 
and he was the only one that 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 was left and he turned into a pet we named him male and uh he's our little buddy he's finally starting to gobble and we're curious if he'll breed with these uh bourbon uh, bourbon reds we have we got three bourbon reds we're hoping he'll breed and now she's a broad-breasted bronze so we don't know if they'll breed or if he's sterile or what but but anyway <laughs> i can't stop watching we free range all our birds uh i forgot i lost track of what i was going to say but anyway the traps we use are cage traps we just use regular cage traps i do have one coon cuff or a dog proof trap and our bait uh i use bacon grease and dog food for bait it just works great i don't know uh, anything that walks <laughs> that don't like bacon so we use bacon grease and i spiced it up a little bit today with a can of tuna fish uh, raccoons and possum love tuna fish so we're going to do uh, some bacon uh, bacon grease dog food and tuna fish bait and another thing is we normally uh, trap right here on our property because it's so close to the chicken pen we normally bait uh, in three little spots right here just to catch all these little animals in the woods today we're going to go in the woods behind my house uh, i haven't made a video in the woods behind my house uh, yet whatsoever so i thought it'd be fun to take you guys back there and show you uh, what it looks like in the woods behind our house all right as you can tell by the signs we are at the corner of the property this is the property line uh, this is the corner of the property line here and as you can see uh, our neighbors hunt right here they have a little food plot right here but that's the property line down that trail right there we have orange posts going all the way down you can't see them yet but uh, that's the property line we own this they own that but what i want to do is put a trap right here on this corner uh, and sort of cover this area Put one about halfway down and one at the very far end there's a swamp down there on the very far end we ought to be able to pull some raccoons out of there and sort of thin this population down i don't know if i said it earlier uh, but the reason we trap uh, all these possums and raccoons is because they're our major uh, predator for our birds uh, of course we have the hawks and uh, we're going to do some stuff about them getting ready for spring but these possums and raccoons Foxes, coyotes, bobcats, all these guys are getting ready. It won't be long. Spring will be here, and they're going to start having babies. And when they have these babies, they get a little less cautious. <laughs> if they think they can get in that pen, they're going to try to find a way in. And a raccoon is super strong. You wouldn't believe the strength of a raccoon. They're super strong. Um, they can tear into our pen easy. Uh, so we, Because all we have is chicken wire around the bottom, and chicken wire will not stop a raccoon. It just won't. A uh, possum, it'll detour a possum a little bit, but a raccoon, if he wants in, he can tear in. So we try to beat him back. And I've said it on videos before, I'm the one that looks over my birds. And it's my job to keep them safe. And I think that this is the best way to do that. Uh, for the fact, possum and raccoons are our number one uh, killer of our chickens. Now we will lose some to some hawks. Uh, we're gonna try to do some, some more. I got a lot of comments. Uh, talking about the hawks on the last video of uh, things that I'm going to do now. Uh, one lady uh, texted me and told me to put up CDs on a string. Now, I have done that. Wasn't sure if it worked or not because we still lost birds that year. Um, we put the scarecrow down there. And also, uh, we had comments about getting an owl. And I thought about that. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do everything I can this year. We usually lose a, just a few but dang, I don't like losing them. So we're going to do everything possible to keep the birds beat back this year. Uh, but let me set some traps and we'll try to knock back some of these possums and raccoons.
All right, well, we got this one loaded up uh, with our tuna fish and bacon grease. Uh, I haven't caught a raccoon using this type of steak yet, but I figure if it'll hold up a dog, this is one of those that people down here, I guess they use them everywhere, but you screw in the ground and it's got a swivel on it where you can chain your dog up. I'm so against that, but if you've got your dog chained up, you got to do what you got to do. But <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I've never caught a raccoon on it, so I don't know how it's going to work out if I catch a raccoon. Up. Possums, I've caught a bunch of possums on it and they can't quite pull that up, but it's screwed in the ground pretty, pretty far. But look at this river. This hunting season's over, so that's one reason I held off coming back here because these guys hunt here and we actually hunt right here on the corner. My house is right back there. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but uh, it's just a little corner section of our woods that I love to hunt. And look at the creek, the creek's flowing. Our lake is right there. If y'all seen our videos, our lake is right there. That's the corner of the lake and the dam is right there. It has just been raining and I'm sure it has everywhere, nonstop. It's finally giving us a little break. But guys, hopefully we can catch some little predators back here. Uh, I've only had one person say that they didn't approve of what I do with this. And that's fine. Uh, everybody's got their little thing, but if you raise chickens or any kind of bird, uh, <laughs> if you've raised chickens or are going to raise chickens, you're going to find out that these jokers, you're going to be disappointed one day, or if you haven't already, when you go out in your pen and there's a pile of dead birds out there with just the heads tore off of them, it's just heartbreaking, you know? Uh, it is absolutely heartbreaking. You put the time and effort into these birds to raise them up, and it's just heartbreaking. Uh, we don't have a lot of problems with foxes or coyotes, I meant to say earlier. I'm trying to get all this in. Uh, they mostly stay out here in the woods. They don't come around the house all that much for some reason. We've only seen one in the four years we've been here uh, that's come in the front yard. Now, I did shoot it one last year back here hunting. There's our little tree stand right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right there. But this is where my daughter hunts, actually. This is her little spot. But I shot at a raccoon, or not a raccoon, a coyote right here on this little road, but I missed him. But, but guys, uh, trapping is a super effective way to protect your birds and do it now. Uh, we don't trap in the spring. We don't trap in the spring. All this stuff keeps popping in my head. <laughs> we don't trap in the spring for the fact they're having babies and stuff and we don't just absolutely hate them. But uh, in the fall and the winter is just a perfect time to get out here. It's nice and cool for one thing to carry all that steel around. Uh, it's just a perfect time to catch them now uh, because they're getting ready to have their babies and all that stuff. Springtime, we, we cut them some slack. Uh, we don't really trap a lot in the spring at all for the fact they're having babies and that's kind of sad you know but but guys if you got chickens or are thinking about getting chickens get you one of these cage traps they're awesome because uh, you can take and move your birds somewhere i mean give your birds you can move your little predators somewhere else uh, we don't do that you'll see if we catch something tomorrow uh, i won't show me dispatching or anything but we don't move our problem to somebody else's farm we just don't do that uh, and here in the state of Georgia, it's illegal uh, unless you got permits. You got to have permits for everything. But here in the state of Georgia, you can't transport uh, wildlife. So we just dispatch them and let Mother Nature take its course with that. Uh, like I say again, this is the way we protect our birds and it's the most efficient way. But I'm going to go to work. <laughs> I'm going to go make my lunch, get ready for work. Uh, stay tuned for just a quick second and we'll see what we catch uh, tomorrow. Well, it's the next day, <laughs> and as you can see, it's raining. I've been waiting for a little while just to see if the rain would stop and give me a break. I got to go way up in the corner of the woods up there and check the first trap and then on through the backyard and check the rest of them. Uh, so I guess let's get with it. <laughs> well, we're coming up on the, on the first trap, and I don't see anything. It's right there. So far, nothing. Which is not a bad deal. I'll be honest with you guys. It really makes me happy when we... Oh, I'm sorry. It really makes me happy when we don't catch anything. I'm sort of hoping that we about caught most of them. So we'll go check this second trap real quick. It's not that bad back here in the woods. It's just... Uh, 
windy. It's real windy. Real windy. Let's see what this other trap looks like. Well, nothing in that one. That's not a bad deal. Like I say, I let them soak for a couple of days, so I let them sit for a couple of days, uh, about a week actually. I let them sit for about a week. And if I catch something, I get rid of it and keep setting them and uh, see how many we can pull out of this little area. The weather has just changed overnight. I tell you, we went from wearing shirt sle short sleeves to now my hands are just about numb and I ain't walked <laughs> five minutes. It is really cooling down. Tomorrow's supposed to be really cold. And I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to clean out our chicken coop. Our chicken coop is so full of pine shavings. It's, it's way past due to be cleaned out. And uh, I got to prune our muscadine vineyard too. Get that cleaned out. So I'll show y'all some of that stuff coming up in the next uh, few videos. I think y'all get a kick out of that. For you guys that don't know what a muscadine is, uh, it's a southern grape. I'll tell y'all more about that. I'm obsessed with them. That little creek, we just walked around. My house is right there. That little creek that was running through the side of the yard when I first started talking, it runs all down through these woods and ends up coming down through here <laughs> and filters out into there. And there's a guy down here that owns a lake. So let's see what is in this trap. Now, I don't see anything. I believe it's right on that corner there. Oh, no, it's not. It's right here in front of me. All right. Nothing. Well, that's fine with me. That's fine. That's what I want. But over the last few years, let me get this out. Over the last few years, we have really beat these raccoons and possums back. Uh, we've been doing it. I've been doing. I've been trapping since I was. Oh my gosh, in my twenties, I, I just love trapping. And we did it at my last property. And when we bought this place, it was infested with possums, raccoons, and armadillos. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. But uh, we went on a mission to try to trap as many as we could. And we do it every year. And we've got to the point, as you can see, we've got a deer feeder right here. We got to the point where we could put a trail camera up and we won't even hardly see a raccoon at our feeder, which to me is another bonus. They don't eat all your corn. But uh, I think it's just great <laughs> to get back here and trap some of these animals. Like I say, we're not trying to get them all, but we are trying to get a lot of them. For the simple fact, we free range our birds and we're trying to give them a, a safe place to run around and do whatever they want to do. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll try to close this out. I really appreciate all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. For coming over and checking out my channel uh thanks to all my old subscribers too thank you guys so much for checking out my video uh i want to give a special thanks to jason crocker thank you so much jason uh you don't know what that means to me uh to do a little shout out on one of your videos if you haven't seen it go back and watch his goat pen video uh, he gave me a little shout out and buddy uh Jason, your, your folks, they listen, buddy. <laughs> In 24 hours, I got 1,300 new subscribers. I was just blown away. Thank you guys for all the nice comments. Appreciate you guys coming over and subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> I hope I can entertain all you guys enough to keep y'all uh, watching. But uh, Jason, thanks again so much. I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, we're actually going to Oklahoma for the meetup. Uh, I want to come up here and hug your neck. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, I want to take you out to dinner too. I told Travis, I said, we're going to take Jason out to a steak dinner. Guys, let him know we owe him a steak dinner. Go comment on his next video, whatever video comes out after this. But let him know I want to take you out to steak dinner. Look, and if you ain't got a place to stay in Oklahoma, get in touch with us. Uh, I think my son-in-law is trying to get in touch with you now. We got an Airbnb up there, super nice Airbnb. If you need a place to stay, we got you covered. Uh, we got your food covered. We got your dinners covered, breakfast. We're taking all our eggs and ham and bacon and all that stuff from the farm. Uh, just let us know if you need anything, buddy. I, I just feel like I'm so indebted to you. But I love you guys to death. Appreciate y'all checking out my channel. <laughs> Go check out the Crockers. 
If you're not a subscriber to the Crockers, I don't know what, what you're waiting on. Go check out the Crockers. This super awesome guy. Uh, Jason Crocker is just the best, man. Uh, I just don't know what to say. Also, go check out Jared Crocker. He is all, His whole family has got a YouTube channel, and they're just an awesome family. Jared Crocker, go check them out on YouTube. Go check out Matt Crocker, the, the, or the real Crocker. I'm trying to get all these uh, remembered. The real Matt Crocker. The real Matt Crocker, go check him out. He's taking a little tour around the country in his truck. Uh, it's really cool living in out of his truck. Uh, the Crocker Simply Southern, that's his mom and dad. Go check out their channel. They got a bunch of goats and stuff. Really cool guy. And last but not least, go check out the sweet Jaylena Crocker. We met her in North Carolina with Jason. She's just a sweetheart. Go check her out. Uh, hers is Jay's World. She just changed the name of her channel to Jay's World. Go check her out. Support all those guys. They're just great. Uh, good family entertainment. Uh, like me, I have uh, my grandkids with me all the time, so we try to keep everything family friendly. Um, I love the Crockers. They're just awesome. This isn't the first time Jason's helped me out, neither. And, I, and I, <laughs> just out of the blue, I don't ask for his help. I, I just am blown away. I'm blown away. Jason, I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, I'm a rambler. Y'all will learn that. <laughs> I don't know how to put a period at the end of any sentence. At the end of any sentence. But, guys, I love y'all to death. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to close this out. Do me a favor, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to all those guys, and we will see you on the next video.